Hello everyone, so I've been a carpenter now for 36, 37 years and throughout my sort of carpentry journey there's been lots of things I've been shown how to do and there's been lots of things that I've sort of discovered how to do myself. I'm far enough down in my carpentry journey now that it's rare that I come across a, a way of doing something that's different to the way I do it and then I adopt it but as I've said many times on comment sections to various comments in my videos you know carpentry is all about um, learning and sharing knowledge and the more carpenters you come into contact with invariably uh, you might end up finding a way of doing something that's better than the way that you've been doing it for a long time anyway this morning is is one of those times I'm going to show you uh, a method that I've seen uh, on social media on YouTube and a big shout out goes to Alex the Viking carpenter my uh, my Welsh carpentry brother Eriok uh, Carpentry I think his channel is called he's big on Instagram and also Ashley Davenport who I saw do it on one of his videos he's he's a um, young lad he's a roofing carpenter and general carpenter here in the UK and he's got some great videos out so this isn't my I didn't discover this, this isn't my idea um, I saw those guys do it and I've adopted it and I have to say it's absolutely kind of blown me away and I know if some of you guys, uh, you know, tradesmen are watching this and you use this method, you know, fair enough. But I've, I've never seen it before and I hate doing, um, what I'm talking about here is diminishing trusses on the truss roof. I hate them. I always ask for infill and I do it like a ridge layboard and jack rafters. But, you know, some of you guys on site, as I said, you might have been using this method for years, but I haven't and I've only just seen it. I thought I'd try it today and it's absolutely amazing. I'm just going to quickly talk you through exactly what it is. Pretty simple, uh, really fast and very accurate. So really what we've got here is obviously we've got a truss roof. We've got a girder set of truss, a girder truss here, which obviously then takes this other main run of trusses uh, going into it. Uh, so basically we've got a small roof that runs and dies into this main roof. Uh, there's a couple of ways we can do this and I've got another video on my channel about uh, infilling using uh, labels and jack rafters but in this instance and it's, it's fairly common that the truss manufacturers will send out diminishing trusses. I don't like them again because I've always struggled to put them in. I normally put straight edges across the top or lines at the bottom. What we've got to basically do is we've got three points to try and line these up. We've got the ridge point and if you can just see there I've actually put a, a line through and um, basically this ridge here will run all the way through to the other end so I've pulled the line all the way through if it was only a single if it was only a, you know just a single uh, roof running into there I would just make a measurement from the internal wall back to the centre point of this roof and plumb that up but anyway it's easy for me I've just put that string all the way through so that's the ridge point and then it's really a simple case of getting some nice straight 4 for one and literally laying it on this main roof till it comes down and touches this, this, the roof that's cutting into it. And then if I try and jump up here, I hope you can hear because there's a really loud um, road next to me. Then basically what you do look, you see I've got this string line, I hope you can see that, that string line goes all the way through to the other end, but that's the center point of the roof, the ridge line. Bring this forward one down to it, I've left it off just a couple of mil because I don't want to touch it and then just put a few temporary nails in basically do look exactly the same the other side run the other side down till it touches the roof that's cutting in and that's it there's your lines it, it just really couldn't be simpler then all, all I do is get this truss push it up so that the bottom point of this diminishing truss hits this full one here same on the other side and then you just move it sort of from one side till the other until I know that's I've just pushed that string a little, little bit look uh, until it, that is right, uh, you just push it either, either side until the string line lines up at the top and then nail it and obviously afterwards this will have a piece of 4 by one and nailed on it as well. So there you go, I know I've done a lot of talking, I can't show you me putting one in and nailing it because my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again carpentry absolutely fantastic, as I said many times in my comment sections I think carpenters seem to be a pretty cool breed and they, I've never come across one really that's that egotistical and thinks that the way they do it is the only way to do it. Most carpenters I meet are always receptive. If you're doing something different to the way they're doing it and vice versa, most carpenters are always quite receptive thinking, oh, that, that might be a bit easier. And, and then you adopt that and it may be that you completely convert to do it the way that someone's shown you or you use part of it, but all part of the learning process. And the brilliant thing about coming on YouTube is it gives me the uh, opportunity to share a lot of the things that I've learned and been taught, but also, 
with the comments and the interactions I get from people watching and in the comments, I can actually uh, take things as well and learn new things, and this is one of them. So there we go, I've talked enough, I'm gonna get on with this. Thanks for watching.